October 33. Hell that. Thank each and every one of you because I was a nine year old boy pursuing this dream. And kids, if you want to look at somebody, maybe you want to lose a little bit of weight, but <laughs> if there's anyone who wanted to follow his dreams and my parents guided me and helped me, I had a great support system. I'm living proof you can be anything that you want to be as long as you work your ass off. And as you get older, you get very, very reflective. Plus, you gotta hold your cell phone out to hear the read stuff. Yeah. And I met a lot of great people. And like I said, I've been coming here since I'm 23, 24 years old. And I always knew this area was hardcore. And I'm so happy that both the WWE and especially AEW come up here and they see this community's greatness. Last year, I officially became a member of the Bills Mafia when I put somebody through its head. And if you really think about it, ECW was Bills Mafia way before there was Bills Mafia. Was but when I went there, and last year I went to 12 NFL stadiums, and I said, oh my gosh, this is the greatest tailgating I've ever seen. And that's compared to 12 other stadiums from last year. But the cool thing, like I said, is how you all rally around each other as a community. And I always say this, the wrestling community is the greatest and the strongest. We're a dysfunctional family, and I'm weird Uncle Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> but like I said, I have been with you guys on this journey for a long, long time. And if I could say something, uh, I met a woman, she was the one who chopped. She started getting emotional because she said, I was one of her husband's favorite wrestlers and he passed away last year at 35 from COVID. And she got an autograph for her husband. And tonight by chance, when I was asking for somebody to chop, you stepped up for that was for your husband, Gary. You don't want a Super Bowl for this town, I'm gonna put you through a freaking table. Yeah! And on the other side of that, I met, here he is. He handed me a program from 25 years ago at Erie PA. From tomorrow's the 25th anniversary. He said I wasn't born, but my mother was. And she's sitting right there next to me. I'm sorry I used your cane there. You may want to wash it, just so that's another part. <laughs> and lastly, how insane of a community it is. These two people are celebrating their wedding anniversary here today. <laughs> and one other person I got to shout out, Big Rick, where are you? That guy over there. He was part of Atlas Security back in the day, and he used to bounce the crazy drunk people and protect the wrestlers. We've been like family. Today he introduced me to his son, who was 12 years old, who I never met, but we talked via Facebook and all that stuff. Guys, honestly, I freaking love you guys. And for you kids, again, your parents brought you to a bar on a Sunday, so you guys are the most hardcore people I've ever met. We're gonna pop a few beers. Do you wanna come in the ring and have one with us? You don't drink, neither do I, but you wanna just grab one and you need to eat up somebody? Um, get in this ring. My happy anniversary couple. Kids, get in this ring. Big Rick, get your son in the ring. I won't give him a beer. That's Sandman shot. <laughs> Step over the restrooms. Pay no attention to that. They're officially not here. Oh my 